Hi everyone, I've got a ton of updates about Hyperbolica on my YouTube channel. But I first really want to thank everyone for the great support and the feedback. It was really fun to see all the reactions and playthroughs, and I was really happy with how it turned out. So the biggest announcement is that I now have full VR support for most of the common headsets. Yes, it had VR support on launch, but it was sort of a beta feature. Not all the controllers worked, and some were pretty janky. But now I can say the Valve Index, HTC Vive, Windows Mixed Reality headsets, and of course the Oculus Quest are fully supported with the link cable or air link. And to go with that, I have a new VR settings panel with a ton of quality of life improvements. The next piece of news is that the source code for Hyper Engine, which is the Unity backend that Hyperbolica was written on top of, is available on my GitHub. So if you're interested in using it for your own non-Euclidean games or research, it's entirely free and MIT licensed. Hyperbolica is also available on itch.io now, so it's another option to purchase and play the game. The original soundtrack is also available on other platforms, or you can stream it on YouTube. Links below. Another important thing I wanted to mention is that community translations are now open. So if you'd like to help and volunteer to translate the game to your native language, you can join my Discord to get involved. And lastly, some updates on what's coming up. I should have a Mac release of Hyperbolica and a native Oculus Quest app soon, so look out for that. I may also expand the game a little more in an update, and regular Code Parade videos are coming back soon. I have a huge backlog of projects I've been wanting to do for a while. So those are my updates. Thanks again to everyone who supported me through Patreon, Coffee, and buying the game. Hyperbolica is the first full game I've ever released, and it probably won't be my last. So see you all next time.